Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekam IS Academy. As part of our prelims quick bite series, today we are going to discuss about a new study relevation which made with respect to methane emissions. So what did the study found out is recently whatever the methane emissions we are having from the fossil fuels got decreased. But what is contributing to the most number of or major source of this methane emissions is microbes. Yes, microbes means all the microorganisms which we have in the process what all what is causing this methane emissions methanogenesis we call so all those is resulting in most number of methane emissions that is what this particular study has found out in this video we are going to discuss what is this methanogenesis or what is the source of this methane we will understand what is the importance of methane why it is very much important to be controlled from climate change point of view and what are the initiatives taken by Indian government at the same time the world all the global level will be looking in this series. So today we are going to discuss about these topics. So you can see here we have the next image what is this this is a methane how the methane is getting released into the atmosphere from one particular source as ruminant or you can say livestock. So you can say here ruminants when the animals uh, they digest some things what happens is this methane methanogenesis as part of the cattle dung and all they will be entering into the soil from where they can be released into the atmosphere and they can cause also the methane which can be released into the atmosphere. So this is what you have to understand this is this can be a possibility that is what the study has found out. So it is very much important to understand what are the sources of methane. So we have natural sources at the same time anthropogenic resources or sources or man-made sources. What are natural resources? It is only responsible for 40% of the methane emissions where we have natural sources like marshlands or methane uh, you can say termites also cheddar we call and also other sources where paddy fields and all artificial you can say or man-made resources or fossil fuels forming paddy rice paddy fields and all we have and landfills also where we can dump the solid waste this can also release the methanes into the atmosphere so then what is the source saying is methane emissions has decreased but it is not on the overall scale they have decreased only from the fossil fuels but what has increased in the recent times is methane emissions from microbes has increased that is what the recent study has found out so we'll understand what are the microbes so microbes means microorganisms these became the primary source and where they can be surviving in the anaerobic archaea archaea means this is a single celled organism which can be responsible for release of methane so from this particular type of organism more methane is getting released into the atmosphere compared to the fossil fuels that is what the study has found out so where these type of methane release in microbes are there means wherever there is oxygen deficiency oxygen deficiency means where we don't have much oxygen what are those like for example digestive tracts of the animals rice paddies landfills all the sediments in the lakes and oceans in these places where there is no abundant oxygen there there can be a chance of this microbes releasing the methane into the atmosphere so this has increased the methane so why it is a matter of concern for us because methane is a potential greenhouse gas what is methane methane means ch4 it is a hydrocarbon where we have four hydrogen molecules and one carbon molecule so what happens here is this particular CH4 or methane it is the second most important greenhouse gas after carbon dioxide and it is also very much important to know this methane is a short lived climate pollutant short lived climate pollutant means it doesn't stay in the atmosphere for long it days it normally stays in the atmosphere only for a days you can say for a few days or weeks maximum so then what happens but still it is having high potential it is almost it can create 28 times more global warming potential than global warming potential than CO2 that is what the potential of methane in increasing the temperatures so this is what you have to keep in mind so that is the main matter of concern then what are the sources as I told you biogenic biogenic means from the living things like microbes this is one of the way where methane emissions can be released at the same time thermogenic thermogenic means under some heat okay some situations where we can extract the fossil fuels you know when we have to extract the fossil fuels like coal oil natural gas and all these things we need to drill into the earth surface where we have to subject them to maximum temperatures and pressures so in that situation also there is a high chance of release of methane so these are the two sources through which methane can be released into the atmosphere then what are the initiatives when it is a matter of concern because as we are experiencing climate change and increase in temperatures every day what we have to do we have to limit these temperatures right so why we are doing this we wanted to 
increase the livability or we wanted to in, in create a situation of sustainable development or sustainable lifestyle for the future generations also. In this way, we wanted to curb down whatever the greenhouse gases we have or whatever the carbon emissions we are releasing into the atmosphere, those have to be arrested. So for this, India has taken methane specific initiatives like, for example, one of the initiatives is Harita Dara. In this Harita Dara, what we are doing is we are trying to give the livestock, non-methogenic livestock, okay, so you can see feed, whatever the cattle feed we are giving normally, that we are ensuring that it doesn't have any source of methane, so that from the livestock also we don't get any methane emissions, this is what Harita Dara we have. Then we also have Indian Greenhouse Gas Program, so who have launched this particular program? This was launched by Confederation of Indian Industry CII plus Terry. These two have launched this greenhouse gas program where we wanted to decrease greenhouse gases in which one of the greenhouse gas we have is methane. At the same time, you also have Panchamrit principle. Panchamrit. What is Panchamrit? You know, five goals which we have kept to limit our climate change right from indian side we have kept five goals out in which we have we wanted to decrease fossil fuels and we wanted to increase non fossil fuel based energy by 2050 this is what the target we have kept the, under which methane is also one of the important thing which we wanted to curtail so this is one non fossil fuel uh, source one of the panchamrit principle which we are adopting and this was announced on the sidelines of cop 26 in Glasgow summit to UNFCCC. Then what happened? In the international level, we have global methane pledge. So who have announced this? This was also adopted in 2021 only as part of COP26 by European Union and also USA. These two countries initially have spearheaded, you can see, in launching this global methane pledge. What is the target they have kept? At least they wanted to decrease 30% of the global methane emissions by 2030. That is what the target they have kept. But is India a member of this means India is not a member of this. So there is a need to relook into this issue of joining such pledge to curtail down the methane emissions because you know one of the main source of methane is paddy fields and you know agriculture plays an important role even in Indian economy also. So in this context it is very much important for India to join such initiatives in curbing down the methane emissions. So this is what you have to understand from this point of view. Then what is the practice question given yesterday? HIV parasites, which of the following blood cells? It is T helper cells, also called CD4 cells. This is the answer. Then, today's practice question, consider the following statements regarding methane alert and response system, MARS. Okay, so this is another international initiative, that is why I didn't discuss there. So, you can see it was launched at the COP27 to the UNFCCC. Then, it is a platform set up mainly to curb methane emissions. Which of the following statements given above are correct? How many are correct? Try to put your answer in the comment section. Then, as we have reached the end of the video, today we have discussed what is a new source of methane emissions as found out by the study, what are the microbes that are causing this methane emissions and what are the sources of these microbes. We also have understood what are the sources of methane and what are the initiatives taken by India and also at the global level to curb down the methane because it is a potential greenhouse gas with huge global warming potential. So to protect our mother earth, we need to curb down these things and we have to make the future for the next generations livable. So this is what we have discussed in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.